Hi guys, my name is Sharita, and I'm here to give you pivotal information on things that just recently happened, in a positive way. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing my own kind of spinoff of what Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson talked about in today's part four video of their five part series. If you guys are unaware, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, who both are huge YouTubers, very respected, well, subjectively, um, very respected YouTubers, very well-known YouTubers, and Shane Dawson has kind of been doing this documentary on Jeffree Star. So in today's video, which I probably will be talking about the whole series once it's concluded, but I kind of wanted to get this video out because my brain literally was doing like circles. In today's video, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson were talking about how Shane should come out with some kind of product. And Shane was saying something along the lines of, well, I don't wear makeup, I don't know how this would go over, this, that, and the other. Well, there are a lot of people out there that appreciate makeup and they, they appreciate beauty gurus, but they don't do makeup themselves. And one of my favorite people to watch who appreciates makeup is Peter Mon. So I was thinking, you know how Jeffree Star said that Shane Dawson should launch a product, but it should be very Shane Dawson-like. Like, yes, it would be real, but it would be real Shane Dawnish. Dawn, what? Dawson? What is his name? Shane Dawson. It would be very Shane Dawson-ish. And so I started thinking, like, well, what if... Peter Mon came out with a product and it just happened to be like an eyeshadow palette. So in my head I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come up with this idea. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about Peter Mon's exclusive eyeshadow palette. So what I was thinking is obviously like if you guys watch Peter Mon, you know that the palette would be called Beast. That's what it'd be called. Beast. B-E-A-S-T. Beast. That would be the name of the YouTube, the YouTube, what? That would be the name of the eyeshadow palette. Now I'm thinking it could have like a blood sugar kind of aesthetic, but instead of being the reds, it could be like blues and silvers and maybe some purples. And I actually have the blood sugar palette right here just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about right here. Oh, I hope this doesn't blind you guys. But Right here are like transition shades. Um, here's like a, a brow bone highlighter and then everything else is kind of like reddish and pinkish and kind of purplish. So what I was thinking is for Peter Mon's eyeshadow palette, one, it could be in the shape of a fan. Now instead of obviously like, it wouldn't be like super flimsy or anything like this, oops, this way, because Duh. But what I was thinking is that it could be very like sturdy and then it kind of opens out like say this was like, you know what I mean? And then it would open out like this and then each little section would have maybe like three or four eyeshadows. And so you would open it up like this and you would have like the eyeshadow palettes and it would have the names of them and blah, blah, blah. So of course, like within this, I'm thinking, well, what kind of names would Peter Mon's eyeshadows have? Now, like I said, it's gonna be the same kind of re or the same kind of aesthetic as Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar palette, but I mean, it would be like in blues and silvers, and like some purplees or maybe even greens. I don't know, like, cause you can either go like blues to purples or like blues and greens. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. So going along with the blood sugar palette, I actually did 18 different colors on what, you know, on the shades that Peter Mon's um, palette would be. I'm thinking, okay, so he talks a lot about how he's, you know, sometimes the um, Janis Joplin, the Andy, or the Anderson Cooper, forever the Andy Cohen of YouTube, so, I think for like the very first row, or I think like for the first like two or three rows, they could be like names, like actual names. So I was thinking like Janice could be a shade, Andy could be a shade, 
Anderson could be a shade. Tanya could be a shade. If you guys don't know who Tanya is, that is his best, best friend. And then, um, and then Stevie, because he's always forever talking about Stevie Nicks. So maybe like those five could be like the names and maybe those could be like the transition colors and maybe even like the brow highlight color. That would be kind of cool. So like you're sticking with like the same aesthetic, like the names are going to be transition colors. Those are just the names. So then the next section of the eyeshadow palette would be more of like crease colors. Maybe not so much of like the, the lid colors where you would like pack on the lid. Maybe even some like cut crease colors. I don't know. But so what I was thinking for this are kind of the subliminals. Not even subliminals because like there's nothing subliminal about Peter. But like just some of the things that he says not in every single video so something along the lines of like in my opinion you guys know so i'm not good at mimicking people but if you guys watch peter you know what i'm talking about and these colors would be like more on like the silver and like glitterish type colors they wouldn't be very like heavily pigmented pigmented that's a good word but they wouldn't be heavily pigmented but these are colors that you could use in a crease or maybe you could even use on a lid it just depends but you do a lot of blending with these colors so in my opinion is definitely going to be one of them candle review company that's another one because he always says he started out as a candle review company and now he's like the ceo drama channel of the world according to james charles another one could be called teachable or remaining teachable or remain teachable something with the word teachable in it because between all of Peter's 727 different channels that he has no matter what he's talking about he's he always talks about like remaining teachable being teachable so I think that would be a good one I think that would be a very 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 good name and yes I do have a pen because I have to write these down I think another name another good name would be good judy because he's always talking about his good judy tanya um but he's always just talking about like a good judy in general which i live for that like good judy like let's be a good judy let's be good judy's yes let's be good judy's so good judy would totally be like a perfect color for peter mon's exclusive palette and then okay so of course i didn't <coughs> of course <coughs> jesus christ of course I didn't break this down evenly because I mean an even palette I don't know it doesn't really work for like the fan uh, whatever maybe another okay so another couple of like filler colors could be hi Jane you guys I die every time he gets on the drama phone and he's like shimling ding 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 like and then he talks about Jane and the gimlets and the Whitney and the receipts, which I'm getting there, but you guys, Hi Jane definitely needs to be a color. Another color needs to be Whitney, and then also receipts, because he wants Whitney to show the receipts at all times. Like, you guys, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like, you guys are literally missing out on life, because... Like, Peter is not not only just the funniest, but, like, the most relatable person ever. And then the last, like, transitional, creasy type color should be gimlets. Now, I'm not sure what gimlets are, but I just know that I use gimlets in an everyday conversation because of Peter. And then the last five colors will be, like, the pigmented blue, like, bright bold colors because like I said like going back to this Jeffree Star palette like all of these colors down here are like different shades oof oof are different shades of like a bright red and then there's like a like a like a burgundy and like a dark purple but if we're using the same like aesthetics then these colors would be like the deep dark blue and maybe even like a dark gray or some kind of shimmer silvery color and so those colors would be drama phone which we know like if you guys aren't there for drama class drama phone rings every day shimmeling ding ding dong ding which ding is another color youtube famous would obviously be a color silver daddy and the very last color would be dad 
You know, I really thought that Jeffrey was going somewhere when he was talking about how Shane should put out some kind of product and people would buy it. That's just like all these other kind of, all these other like fun collab type makeup products and makeup palettes are coming out. Like they have the Crayola Crayon one. They have a Nickelodeon one. I mean, so why not? Why not have people like other influencers have their own palettes that are dedicated to just them? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if Peter Mon had a palette, I would most definitely buy it. So let me know what you guys think about this whole idea about people that are not beauty gurus, but they are influencers or they are lovers of makeup, them coming out with their own palette. And another thing is Peter, not only does he talk about makeup and he talks about beauty gurus, but he actually like, he, he invests in these palettes like I think tomorrow or the next day or whatever like he went out and well maybe he didn't go out maybe he sat on his computer but either way he per he purchased the Norvina palette which is Jeffree Star approved but he bought the Norvina palette as a giveaway which I think is phenomenal now can he make a look with the Norvina palette probably not but he knows what his audience likes he knows what his audience caters or what he caters to his audience he knows what he can do to make his audience happy and if they're willing to watch him talking what talk about makeup and makeup gurus then they're probably a fan of make it what is make it makeup <clears throat> so he he probably is like well I want my subscribers to be happy and I want to relate to my subscribers and not just talk about makeup gurus but I want to understand the ins and outs of makeup and this that and the other so let me know if you guys think that beast should be a thing because I mean I think it should be a thing but that's just me if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up that helps me out a lot this is a brand new channel for me as I have started a new channel that has that I broke off from my other channel. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, also, do not forget to, did I already say thumbs up? Subscribe, thumbs up, subscribe, bell notifications. Pretty sure that I have covered it all. But thank you guys so much for watching and do not forget to be the change that you want to see in the world. Bye. Thank you.